It seems like there's so much to do and so little time to do it with. Microsoft must have realized that many of us are pulled in multiple directions when they added the ability to work with multiple calendars in Outlook 2010. We're going to start by going to the calendar area in Outlook, and we do that by clicking the calendar icon in the navigation bar. You can see I've already created one calendar, a personal one, to house all of my personal life. And I could switch between the calendars by clicking on one calendar and deselecting another. Now that worked pretty well, and I'd like to set up a few more calendars. So this time, I'm going to go back to Calendar. I'm going to do a right click on that calendar and create a new one. And I'd like this calendar to cover all my business appointments. So I'm going to call it quite simply Appointments. And I click OK. You can create as many calendars as you need. So I'm now going to create another calendar. And once again, I do a right click on Calendar and go down to New Calendar. And I'm going to call this calendar Office Meetings because I find that I get in trouble if I don't show up. Finally, I'm going to create a calendar for the office holidays because that's something I want to make sure that I don't miss. So I go back to Calendar and create another new calendar. And I'm going to call this one simply Office Holidays. Now that works pretty well so far, but one thing bothers me. It's a little bit confusing. And I'd like to actually group those calendars together. Well, guess what? Outlook lets me group calendars. So I can do that by going up to the My Calendars area and right clicking. And I see the option New Calendar Group. So I'm going to make a new group of business calendars. I'm going to click New Calendar Group and call this group Business. Now to add calendars to the business group, I just need to drag them into that group. So I'm going to take Office Holidays, drag it down to Business, the Office Meetings, drag it to Business, and also the Appointments. From this point forward, if I want to look at all my business calendars together, I can simply click the Business checkbox. I'm now seeing all the calendars at the same time. Now, sometimes Outlook will automatically change the view so that you can see all your information at one time. For example, if I add in the personal calendar, it now switches me over to the schedule view to make it easier to schedule appointments. Now, there's a couple of other things that I can do with my calendars. For example, I just don't like the name personal for my personal calendar. It just doesn't have a lot of zest to it. So I'm going to give that personal calendar a little bit more pizzazz by giving it a right click and going down to color and giving it a nice perky shade of yellow. There, that's better. But I might want to take this exercise a little further and rename that calendar. So this time I'm going to do a right click on the personal calendar, rename calendar. I'm going to rename this calendar to fun stuff to remind me of all the fun stuff that there is outside of my business world. Now, one of the nice things about having multiple calendars is that I can superimpose the two calendars on top of each other. In this exercise, I'd like to see my work week. And right now, I'm seeing them side by side. So I see that I have certain personal responsibilities and business responsibilities. You notice this left pointing arrow. What I'm going to do is give it a click. And I'm now seeing my two calendars overlaid on top of each other. And you notice my regular calendar items are in blue and my fun stuff activities are in yellow. And I can see when I've scheduled something for the same time slot. Now I can add additional calendars to the overlay by selecting the calendar and then adding it to the overlay. If I want to separate the calendars, I can either close the calendar by clicking the X or I can divide the calendar by clicking that overlay button again, which is now pointing to the right. Although Outlook can't do your chores for you, it can help keep you a bit more organized. And you'll never have to worry about scheduling more than one thing at a time.